the neutrinos have mutated. An iconic line from Roland Emmerich's disaster movie 2012. But are they really mutating? No, of course not. For the first time ever, the neutrinos are causing a physical reaction. Emmerich has shown us time and time again that he does not really care about accurate science in his movies. Are we really complaining? For this one, yes. Yes, we absolutely are. But <laughs> that's going to require a much longer video. Anyway, let's go back to neutrinos. In Emmerich's 2009 movie, 2012, the science explanation is that the neutrinos have mutated and they're causing Earth's core to heat up. Now, this isn't a case of science fiction taking liberties. Science has left the building. Fiction is just running wild. So what are neutrinos? Well, they're subatomic particles that are among the most abundant in the universe, but they are notoriously difficult to detect because they interact very weakly with matter. They do not, and I repeat, they do not mutate. <laughs> so what's real? Well, in terms of their properties as particles, they're electrically neutral, which means they don't carry an electric charge. They have a very small but non-zero mass, and so they travel close to the speed of light. Now, they can come in three types, referred to as flavors, because particle physics. <laughs> Electron neutrinos, muon neutrinos, and tau neutrinos. So neutrinos can change from one flavor to another, which is referred to as neutrino oscillation. And as I said a moment ago, neutrinos are among the most abundant particles in the universe. They're created during the fusion process in stars, or when cosmic rays collide with atoms in Earth's atmosphere, um, in nuclear reactors and particle accelerators, and in the explosion of massive stars, so like supernova. Despite all this, they're really hard to detect, and it's because they interact so weakly that they can pass through normal matter almost undisturbed. So we need pretty big detectors, often located deep underground so that they're shielded from other types of radiation, such as the uh, Super Kamiokande detector in Japan or the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory at the South Pole. So is there anything at all to the neutrinos have mutated? Like, no, no, there isn't. <laughs> Like I said, they can change between flavors, but this isn't mutation. And the process doesn't release energy that would then lead to heating up anything, never mind Earth's core. But if we want to be extremely kind, as, as I like to do, uh, we might be able to imagine using neutrino oscillation as a vehicle for the concept of mutation or some hypothetical unknown physics mechanism where neutrinos interact more strongly with matter under certain conditions, transferring energy, or maybe some entirely new undiscovered neutrino that behaves differently than what we know, allowing for interaction and the heating of Earth's core. But this requires extreme generosity on our part and a lot of liberties with science. <laughs> so no, the neutrinos have not mutated. Emmerich strikes again. Thanks for watching. I'm Abby, a physicist and a sci-fi fan who wants to lure you into my nerd zone. Follow along if it tickles your fancy.